Welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. Let's go fossil collecting and look who I've bumped into here. A figure that looks like Mary Anning, I think, found on the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. Here's Mike after the stormy weather with all these fossil finds. Just a few. Little, Just a few um, in his collection. Gar. The trouble is, if he doesn't collect these and save these from the destruction of the sea, they'll end up like that one there, starting to break up the sea doing its worst for wear on them. And I've even dropped that one. So, uh, God, how long did that take you to find, Mike? About three hours worth. Though. Wow, excellent finds, those ones. Even a little bit of silver, though. Really? Look at that, bit of uh, silver he's found on the dump. Nice gilted button. Wow. What a collection there. That little bottle there. Yeah, it'd be interesting to find out about this bottle when the neck's broken off, but it's encased in um, something like a brass coat on top. Yeah. Like Some great finds by Mike Harrison at Mike Harrison Fossils on Instagram. And with the attrition of the sand and sea, it's really brought it up, that cluster. And the other side, is it still got ammonites on? Yeah, look, both sides with yeah, look at that. the pro microcerus ammonites from the Jurassic. Well done, Mike. What a find, that one. Just abrading it out. Is it woodstone? Well, no, um, oh, wow. but there's a little ammonite there. Look at that. There, it's broken. I want to get a nice straight edge, really. Yeah. Oh, why'd you do that? You, you'd think that would take an edge off straight. Yeah. Um, um, a bit of a calcite over there, isn't there? There's one. one there. Yeah, that's a better one, isn't it? Just uh, you see the keel of it shooting out there. Right. It did, um, but it's not preserved very well because it's going oh, towards yeah, the, edge it's of the, to the edge of the stone. Yeah. yeah. And out of the stone. So, um, take that one on. Uh, chisel now. Here's Mike with a really nice uh, fossil find on the beach. Look at this. He opens up this limestone block. There Look at the go. size of that ammonite. Wow. That's good for Pro Microcerus, that one. Beauty. Little one there as well. The weather here at Lyme Regis has been a bit inclement and the big seas have been washing in. And look at this mudslide here come 
down onto the beach and will be washed away with successive waves. The outer edge, yeah, give that a, give that a whack around the outer edge somewhere. Let's hope the line of weakness is the fossil inside. Yeah. There you go, that's a better crack. Oh, there we go, look, big Zipherosaurus in there. Wow. Look at the size of that. That's a uh, Zipherosaurus, an ammonite from the Jurassic Age. Lovely sparkle to it. Yeah, look at the uh, look at the sparkle to that. That's just clipping the edge off. Wow, there it is inside, look at that. That is a really nice ammonite from the Jurassic Age. In fact, it's Microdurosaurus birchii. I thought that was a ziff for a minute there with the spikes, but that's Microdurosaurus birchii from the Jurassic Age. Oh, right in the evening sun as well. What a beauty, there you go. You can have that one, <laughs> that's yours. The inclement weather and rain has been washing fossils out of the mudslides and here I'm going to do a bit of sieving on the beach in the iron pyrite. There's a lot of fool's gold around at the moment on the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide and everyone is really concerned about how the landscape has changed rapidly with the big seas but that's just natural along the Jurassic coast. The sea takes away a lot of mud and material and the sea gets into the mudslides and washes the fossils out. It's all part of this natural erosion all the way along the Jurassic coast. So this ammonite here I'm picking out with a bit of metal I found on the beach and it will get right down to the center so you can be able to see the nice perfect pyrite ammonite center as I do this work. A bit of attrition with the mud in the center and that will scrub up really nicely. Doing the sieving work and being this close to the ground, I do tend to find other specimens hanging around while I'm looking on the beach. The best tools are your eyes. The kids do a lot better than the adults because they're closer to the ground and have better eyesight. Look at all this direct runoff off the cliffs, all the area of Black Ven and the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide is really, really packed full of water at the moment from all the rain that we've well, been having. Well, a bit of sieving for Trudy and Susie. Let's see what we get here in this pile of pyrite. There's one, can you see it? Well, I'm heading back into Lyme Regis very shortly. That's another nice ammonite to take back with me. I head back past the Mary Anning statue there. It's festooned with flowers at the moment, some lovely springtime flowers as well, like daffodils were on the Mary Anning statue lately. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.